Hello, in this GSX Pro tutorial, we'll show how to use it the integration provided by Phoenix for their Airbus A320 family and have the airplane handling all ground services tasks with full automation and almost no input required on your side. We'll also show a new type of loaders that we just added with version 3.2.2, which are specifically designed for the A320 family. This is an A319 in Swiss livery and our flight plan starts at F Stream Team Zurich at Terminal A, Gate 10. We start by importing the flight plan from Simbrief using the Phoenix EFB. Since we just started this session at Zurich, GSX has already loaded the same flight plan automatically. Because the Phoenix integration is able to control GSX remotely, we don't have to keep the GSX menu enabled in the toolbar. In fact, we'll never use the menu, except before departure, to choose a pushback direction. What starts the automation is the load aircraft button in the EFB using the GSX option to load the aircraft. Now the airplane will call all required ground services with no need for any user intervention. Since we don't have to call ground services manually, we can now focus on all the other pre-flight operations. Catering vehicles are on their way. The Phoenix automation has already called catering and refueling and the fuel hydrant has arrived. We now continue to insert the flight plan in the MCDU. Since this gate provides underground refueling, a fuel hydrant vehicle is used. As soon the fuel cables are connected to the refueling port, the plane will start loading fuel. You can confirm the fuel is flowing by checking the fuel counter on the GSX refueling truck, but you can also see the fuel quantity increasing, both in the EFB and in the ECAM fuel page. This is a short flight, and the plane already had some fuel in its tanks, so refueling will be fairly quick. In version 3.2.2, GSX has almost 600 different handling operators from all around the world, and more than 200 catering operators. This number keeps increasing, since new operators are usually added with every update, following suggestions from a global community of users. Refueling is now completed, and we have loaded the planned quantity of fuel, well, within 2 kilograms. Now boarding can start. The Phoenix Automation has automatically called the GSX boarding service for us, so we can see the jetway is docking. All airplane doors are also operated automatically, with no user intervention required. The flight attendants are now waiting for passengers. GSX comes with 227 different crew uniforms from many airlines around the world. As passengers board the airplane, they will walk to their seats, and their number will increase progressively on the EFB. During boarding, the crew will greet passengers with voices in multiple accents, depending on the airline nationality. May I see your boarding pass, sir? Since the cockpit door is open, we can see passengers from the cockpit. Closing the door will stop rendering passengers, so they won't affect performances during flight. The boarding sounds will also be much lower when the cockpit door is closed. Good afternoon. Darf ich Ihren Bordpass sehen? Guten Nachmittag. Now let's check the latest feature that has been added with GSX version 3.2.1. The new integrated transporter loaders, which are used in real life to move ULDs around the airport in a more efficient way, without having to use a separate train of wagons. These loaders has been designed specifically for use on the whole A320 family. They are smaller and are perfectly adapted to the A320 cargo doors. The new models are quite detailed and feature a very interesting animation of the big chain that hoists all cabling from the vehicle to the raising platform. The A320 family uses a dedicated ULD type called AKH, 
or LD345. The A319 can fit up to two ULDs on each of its cargo holds. Loading cargo with these loaders is quicker, since there's only a single raising platform, reducing wait times. It's also better for performances, since there's no train of carts, no tug, and only a single driver. While passengers are still boarding, we can go back to programming the MCDU. You can see the airplane seating chart updating in real time while passengers are boarding. The aircraft has been loaded now, and the Phoenix EFB has confirmed it with a pop-up message. We can now complete the takeoff performance calculations, so we can prepare for departure. When using the Phoenix integration, departure is called by turning on the beacon light. This will start GSX departure and pushback service automatically. Now GSX departure has been started, the jetway is docking away, all doors will be closed, and the pushback headset operator is walking towards the airplane. Have you noticed that since we started this session, we never opened the GSX menu once? This is a result of a combination of Phoenix brilliant coding and the GSX ability to operate without a menu under remote control. Departure checks completed. Bypass pin inserted. One last look at our passengers chilling out, reading magazines or checking their phones. We can prepare for engine start. We are already running on APU, and bleed air is available, so starting the engines will be very easy. Now for the first time, we finally open the GSX menu. We'll need it to choose the pushback direction, and since the procedure has been handled by the Phoenix Automation until now, we need to select Continue Pushback. From this position, the logical choice is the first one which due to the GSX airport profile supplied with the scenery is labeled break. with a friendly name that is easier to understand than the generic left or right. Commencing push. All engines clear. Start at will. We'll now start the engines while the GSX pushback is doing its job to push the airplane in the precise position indicated by the airport profile. Engine number one is starting, and pushback is progressing very smoothly on the taxi line. Please pay attention to illuminating signs and crew instructions, including the following safety procedures. A safety cast, life jackets, and a brace position, which you must adopt if you hear brace, brace. There are eight emergency over your nose. Please set parking brakes. Now we need to open the GSX menu again for the second and last time, to confirm a good engine start. Cockpit to ground. We have a good engine start. You can disconnect. In case the engine didn't start, GSX has a return to parking feature, which will pull the airplane back to the parking spot where it started. Tow truck disconnected. Bypass pin removed. Left is clear, right is clear. The tow truck is going away, so we are almost ready for departure. We can move to the first officer seat to have a better view of the headset operator, which will show us the bypass pin to confirm that steering authority is back on the airplane. After the operator waves us goodbye, we can go on our way. This concluded our ground service session, which used the full automation offered by Phoenix, 
and the tight integration between the airplane, GSX and Simbrief, which made the whole process entirely automated. GSX version 3.2.2, which features the new ULD loaders, is a free update that can be obtained with FSDT Live Update. 